I'm here today with Chris Sanagara at the Vale Sports Arena. You've just announced that you've, you've pretty much gone permanent here at the, at the Vale Sports Arena exclusive. You guys will be putting your shows on here. How excited are you to have made that match up and to get to put more shows on in here? I'm very excited because I, I can I have a vision uh, of uh, mo most of the boxers ca coming here and boxing here. He said I'm very friendly with all the, tra all the trainers and uh, likewise they're quite, quite, they're quite excited about it. Let's just get these boxers on our shows, you know, let's get uh, the opponents in, bring them along and eventually uh, have championships, you know, on the bigger shows, of course, you know, um, it's good that Sky's come in here um, before Frank Warren and Matchroom, they, they were here regular. So this is what we've got to do is have that bed, bed of talent so that we can entice uh, those big shows again. And you, and you talk about a better talent. We were here at, the, at your last show. Kieran Jones, Moses Jolly, both of those two names fought here last time and are now on a boxer card as well. Is that, is that your dream is to, you know, I'm not necessarily saying you want to make boxes for other promoters, but if you're able to put shows on here and then they're able to perform on the biggest shows in the world, is, is that something that you like to see? Yes, that's the most important thing. It's not all about uh, Sanagar events. It's about bringing Welsh boys through. And if I can be... Uh, an asset to helping them get on those big shows. Yes, yeah, so that, that, that's what my vision is. Uh, you know, we had Lee Selby, we had him from his first fight right through to win, winning the world title. It was fabulous. And, uh, and likewise, in the past, I've seen uh, Robbie Regan, you know, ha have his first few fights and, and followed him all the way through, through, through his career. Remember St Steve Robinson, um, you know, get, getting that, that call, uh, two days notice, winning the title, then coming back and defending, I, I think it was five times, uh, you know, and it, uh, these are, the, these are the, the things that I want to be involved with, you know, um, got the greatest respect for all, all the, the, the trainers, they're all, you know, ex-boxers, you know, we talk the same language and, uh, and uh, yeah, I can just see a success at the end of the tunnel. There's going to be a lot of success and it's going to start here at the Cardiff Bell Arena. And obviously you're from Bristol yourself, but you said you've worked quite close with the likes of Tony, with the likes of Lee. Just how much of an appetite is there here in Cardiff for boxing? Um, obviously I'm not saying necessarily compared to Bristol. I know you've done shows at the likes of the galleries, put on some great shows over there, but how, how hungry are Wales and Cardiff for boxing? Yes, um, you know, Welsh has got, has always had that talent and um, yes, I'm a Bristol boy, but let me tell you, I, I was at the Albert Hall and seen Steve Simmons knock out Jimmy Flynn in the elimination for the title. On both occasions, I saw Colin Jones beat, beat Kirkland Land once at the Albert Hall and then the second time at, at the Wembley Conference Centre. Of course, I was here to watch Steve Robinson um, I, all, all the way through, Robbie Regan all the way through, you know, so uh, thing. And then I, I've also seen, you know, a master of a te technician, Pat Thomas, you know, a, a, amazing talent, left hook, you know, uh, a very, very tough man, Billy Waif, you know, and I, I suppose I could just go on, on and on. I can remember J J Johnny Wall, um, I know, and uh, you know, and then while, while I'm talking about about things, I can remember say, saying to, to Gavin Gwynn, I said, like, like you, you're you're from this area, Murfer. I said, and there's been uh, there's been these, these these great fighters, and uh, and I've just got this feeling that you're going to have that similar success. I said, it, it's just in your blood from from the area, and. Uh, and, and it's great to, to be involved, you know what I mean? I'm not Welsh, and actually uh, I, I'm not English neither because I, I'm 50% Irish and 50% uh, Sri Lankan. And, uh, you know, although I was born in, uh, born in London, but, uh, you know, and uh, brought up uh, in, in Bristol, of course. But, uh, and I'm a big, big Bristol Rovers fan. So, uh, you know, it's going to be... Uh, a great, great time of boxing here in, in South Wales. You know, the, these, these shows 
uh, and eventually I'm sure we'll get the TV here as well. And you said about Merthyr, and, and while we're on it, obviously I think Merthyr's had, I think it's three or four world champions now. You've got Gavin Gwynn possibly you know, up there as well, and, and Joe Morgan, someone from that part of, of the country as well. We spoke to you last time uh, we were here, and you said you're going to make him a world champion. Just how good is Joe, and just how excited is it to, to have him fighting here, here at the Vale as well? Yes, uh, Joe, Joe Morgan is a, uh, a big talent. Uh, I also manage Jake Tinklin, so without, uh, while I was talking about Joe Morgan, I don't want to ignore uh, Jake, Jake Tinklin and naturally his, uh, his trainer, Gavin Gwynn, uh, not Gavin Gwynn, Gavin Reese. Sometimes I get them mixed up and I wind up texting Gavin Gwynn instead of Gavin Reese and, and Gavin Reese instead of Gavin Gwynn. That's, that's just the fight, I should imagine. But yeah, Joe Morgan is... Uh, um, a, a big prospect. Uh, if I, I think I may have uh, overdone it if you said I, I said I was going to make him world champion because it's a long, long way uh, to go to that. So uh, you know, may, I could, can't even say that I was drunk because I'm teetotal. But um, yes, he, he's a, a good prospect. You know, like a lot of our, our boxers, and uh, I really want to just t take them as far as they possibly can. And if they show the show the dedication and determination and discipline that Lee Selby showed, I'm sure all, the, all these Welsh prospects go a very, very long way. Maybe you just got a bit excited on the night after the win. Speaking of exciting fights, obviously we're here tonight for, or here today for the Ryan Pocock, Ethan George, June the 1st. Tell us how exciting a fight that is to have here and, and maybe anything, any other fighters you can talk about that, that might be involved on that night as well so that people can go home and, and, and look to get grabbing some tickets. Okay, well, it really is a 50-50 uh, fight, you know. Uh, I think uh, Ryan Pocock may be the better boxer of the two, but I, I, I know for sure that Ethan George is the heavier puncher. So uh, when you put those two together, then you're, you're balancing the scales. Uh, can, can Ryan stay away? And can even ca catch uh, Ryan? So that, that, that's going to be like cat and mouse. It's, like a, it's going to be a 50-50 fight. As regards the, the undercard, then I know for sure uh, we'll be featuring Joshua John, very talented boy. Also Nathan Howells. I know Jacob Atkins. I know Mark Davis. And then there'll be a few more, more on the card. I'm talking with Gary Lockett and Enzo McAnelli. I know that... Um, um, Gavin Reese, uh, boy uh, Jake Tinklin, and Joe Gallini will be, uh, be on. Jimmy Gallini, Joe, Joe's his mum. Uh, I know when I text him, I normally text his mum uh, uh, to make sure that both, both of them have their texts. Um, yeah, and uh, as, like, as I said, it, it's going to be a great night of boxing. So, Tony Ball's going to be a busy night man on that night, and you've mentioned I think your first five names were all training under him. How great is it to have someone like him, someone who's, you know, I'm not going to discount the other boxers or the other trainers, there's lots of great trainers in Wales, but someone who arguably has one of the strongest stables in the country, let alone just here in, in Wales or in the United Kingdom. Yes, Tony has a, a, a great stable. Um, I've worked with him now since uh, 2006, very, very closely, and uh, we've had great success. Um, also had a few disappointments uh, and hiccups on the way, but that's boxing. But uh, yes, we've got a good, great relationship, you know, bringing boxers forward. And likewise, naturally trained uh, uh, Lee Selby all the, all the way through. And, and uh, now Lee Sel Selby's a, a trainer. And, uh, and again, pushing on. Perfect, thank you. And, and just to finish off, I'll let you let everyone know where they can grab tickets, where they can find out more information, that sort of thing about the show. Obviously, if that stuff's available now or when it will be available. Well, the posters are, are, will be coming out this week um, and the tickets, the tickets are being printed at the moment. But likewise, you can go through on Sanninger Events or westcountryboxing.com. Uh, likewise, when, when the posters, they, they, um, they'll all have the phone numbers of the individual boxers and so you'll be able to get us and we'll have a QR code as well on the posters. Perfect, cheers, thank you very much.